Today we're going through my July sales and it was my best sales month of the year so far. Stick around to see what I sold. Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Megan Gordon Goldstein and I'm a part-time reseller on the Poshmark app. Today we're gonna be going through all of my July sales. I'll go through one by one. We'll kind of do like a speed round. I will show you every single item that I sold in the month of July. And then after that, we'll go into my fast, slow, high, low segment where I share with you what sold quickly, not so quick for a good amount of money and not so great amount of money. My hope is that you get an idea of, you know, what other people are selling. I uh, can give you a better idea of maybe what to pick up or what to avoid when you're out thrifting. It also kind of gives me a little bit of a reminder to do the same thing, you know, when I'm out thrifting, stay away from certain things or things that did well for me, you know, pick those up again if I see them. After that, I'll also get into some of my other numbers and charts and things that you all seem to like. So let's get into it. On July 1st, I had one sale and it was this pair of Born Movide Gray, Movide, Movide? gray tassel zip heeled ankle booties and I picked these up at Goodwill and they sold for $40 and took two days to sell. So I would definitely uh, pick those up again. And again, this is July and I'm selling ankle boots. I list stuff all year round. Doesn't matter what the season is, I list stuff. So on the second, I had one, two, three, four. I sold four items. The first was this Under Armour, like quarter zip, half zip. I got this in a men's threaded mystery box and I haven't posted that one yet, but it's is pretty good. <laughs> so I'll make sure to I'll make sure to upload that one soon because it was it's turning out to be a really good one, um, mostly for one item, but the other items have been doing decently or have been doing good as well, doing well as well. The other pieces have been okay as well. Yeah, I sold this for $12 and it took 14 days to sell. Also, my screen's up here as usual, so if I'm gazing off into the distance, that's why. The next item to sell was this Forever 21 blush pink crushed velvet circle skirt, and I got this in a thread up mystery box. I sold that for $10 and it took 77 days to sell. That was in, I think my mixed women's box that I just put up on my channel. So I'll link that above if I did. Next on the second was this J. Crew floral embroidered boho tie neck top. And I got this at Goodwill recently as well. That sold for $25 and took six days to sell. The last item on the second was this Zara Man blue and orange striped mesh accent sweater. This came in the same men's mystery box as the Under Armour pullover. I sold that for $19 and that took 14 days to sell. On the fifth, I had one sale and it was this Casper black skirt. It had like floral embroidery on it. I got this in a donation last summer. I sold it for $5 and it took 152 days to sell. On the seventh, I had three sales. The first was this Talbot's linen skirt and I this came in a donation as well. I sold that for $4, <laughs> so even worse than the other skirt, and that took 154 days to sell, so about six months. Next was this TJD top, the Jet Set Diaries. This was also in a women's mixed thread up box, and honestly, I thought this would do better. Um, the Jet Set Diaries is a decent brand, uh, sold at Nordstrom and stuff, and it kind of had like a snake print, which I know is popular right now, but I only sold this top for $8. It did take 133 days to sell, so ugh, I, I think I started it at like $35 and I wasn't getting any bites on it. Next, uh, the last item on the seventh were these Dr. Scholl's Anyways Be Free Pointed Toe Flats. These kind of had like a snake print on them as well. I got these at Goodwill recently and they sold for $20 and took 13 days to sell. On the ninth, I had two sales. The first was this Zara like check plaid embroidered boho top. This looked really similar to the J. Crew one that I sold um, a few days before. I picked them up, I think, on the same day, which was pretty funny. This was this was really cute. It had little like tassels on the front. 
and I sold that for $23 and it took 13 days to sell. The second item, did I say I sold two items on the 9th? I sold three. I, I don't know here. It's a big spreadsheet. <laughs> I'm trying not to lean. Maybe I need to move this. I think I'm shaking the camera a lot. Maybe, ooh, I have an idea. This is like propped up here and I keep moving the mouse to scroll through my spreadsheet. So I'm gonna move that over here so I don't do that. Um, but now I'm too far away. We're gonna move it. Okay, much better. Uh, also on the 9th, I sold these Dansko Tasha Red Wooden Clog Sandals. I picked these up at Goodwill as well. And I sold these for $40 and they took seven days to sell. So it's really encouraging that things I'm actually picking up at Goodwill are selling in like a timely fashion for a decent amount of money. So uh, my confidence is rising. I, If you don't know, um, last year I really didn't thrift at all. I went to Goodwill like twice in February, March. Um, and then I pretty much got all donations and was selling everything from Threaded Mystery Boxes that I was getting. And I just started thrifting again in like April. So it's really exciting to actually be like a thrifting reseller and not just like a mystery box reseller. The last thing to sell on the 9th was this White House Black Market sleeveless tweed. Why did I say tweed pieced? I don't even know what that means, ship dress. I guess that was the name of it. Um, but this was from my personal closet. I got it like a while ago um, for my full-time job. Don't wear it anymore. We're not that formal. I sold that for $11 and it took 143 days to sell. On the 11th, I had four sales. The first one was this North Face Nupsy, I think is how you say it. It was like a navy and black kind of shiny puffer coat. This came in that same men's thread up mystery box. It was the 25 pound box. I couldn't believe when I opened this because this is excellent. And I sold that coat. It retails for $380. I listed it at 250 and I sold that in two days for $190. <laughs> so that whole men's box, um, I paid 110 for it. And that piece alone, I sold for 190. And I think that box came out to like four dollars and sixty four dollars and sixty six cents a piece so i'm i made a decent profit on that paid for the whole box up front and i i am i'm just so excited I, I can't believe it even the like the drawstrings around the waist of it um were kind of broken like it was cut off or something so i re-knotted it and just noted that but for the for the most part it was in really great condition and i was very happy <laughs> to receive that i promise i will get that men's video up because it was real good. The next item to sell was this American Eagle pullover. It was like a blush pink, I don't know. But this was from my personal closet. I don't really wear it anymore. I sold it for $13 and that took 148 days to sell. The next item on the 11th was this COS or cause. I don't know, do you say the letters or do you pronounce the whole thing? Cause is like a higher end H&M line. And I got this in a thread up women's rescue box. I sold that for $24 and and that took 193 days to sell. The last item to sell on the 11th was this pair of Vince Camuto Payton leather sandal platform heels. These came in a shoe rescue box from ThreadUp. You'll see a lot of ThreadUp things just because that's how I was doing most of my sourcing last year. These sold for $9 and they took 212 days to sell. Uh, not great. It's like an old style Vince Camuto. I, you know, their platforms, they were kind of damaged. I wouldn't pick those up, not especially not in that condition. On the 12th, I had one sale and it was this vintage like button front vest. And I got this in my very first Thread Up Mystery Box ever. I'll link that above if you wanna see it, but this came in that box. It's one of the last items to sell from that box, but I sold it for $5 and it took 305 days to sell. So almost a year. On the 14th, I had two sales and the first was this pair of Vince Camuto. So we have Vince Camuto again. This is an example of Vince Camuto that I would and did pick up at Goodwill. So these are the Rita Dorsey brown woven plat sandals. Like I said, I did pick these up at Goodwill. The style was super cute. I sold those for $30 and they took 14 days to sell. The other item to sell on the 14th 
was this pair of J. Crew black pull-on jacquard shorts and they had pockets. These came in a Thread Up Mystery box as well. These sold for $13 and took 88 days to sell. On the 16th, I had three sales. The first was this pair of Express whitewash mid-rise skinny jean leggings and these were from my personal closet. I sold those for $12 and they took 224 days to sell. I guess people just aren't as into white jeans anymore um, because a lot of my other personal jeans sold pretty quickly, but the whitewash ones sat for a while. Next up were these Madewell Billy boots. Um, they're like a black suede zip ankle booty and I got these at Goodwill. They sold for $42 and took nine days to sell. I was very happy with that. Next up on the 16th were these Sperry Siren Cove Oxblood Red Striped Rain Boots and I picked these up at Goodwill as well. They sold for $49 and took 17 days to sell. Oh boy, 17th, how many do I have? I sold nine items, two separately and then a seven piece bundle. So let's get into that. We'll start with the separate items, but the first separate item was this lush black and white striped print crossback top. I picked this up at Goodwill last year. I I didn't know anything. Lush is sold at like Nordstrom, Nordstrom Rack. I, I thought the style was cute, but it, it was not cute enough. I would not pick this up again to resell. The stock photo looked pretty dated, um, but I sold this for $8 and it took 512 days to sell and I lost 24 cents on it and in, if you include my cost of goods. So uh, yeah, I would not do that again. The other single item to sell on the 17th was this Soft Surroundings, I have no idea how you say this, Morel velour bell sleeve top. It was in this really pretty purple color. I picked this up at Goodwill. I know soft surroundings can do decent. I just thought this was a really pretty top and you can usually find stock photos for soft surroundings. This sold for $39 and took 22 days to sell. Very happy with that. Let's get into the seven piece bundle here. I'll kind of pop the bundle up on the screen and you can see you know, what I listed these items at. These were all very low priced items. First we have the Forever 21 dress. That was from my personal closet. Don't wear it anymore. Um, the H&M divided like knit lace trim sweater as like a really lightweight sweater that was donated to me last year. Then we have the Lori felt button front top that sold on like QVC. I think um, that came in my very first thread out mystery box, the same box that that vest <laughs> came in that you can tell from that sat for quite a while. The new and you black spaghetti strap V neck camisole that came in a thread out mystery box. It was really pretty, but it was just basic. And that brand um, is not a well-known brand around here anyway. And then we have this H&M basic striped top that was from my personal closet, the J. Crew green v-neck kind of like three quarter sleeve sweater. That's a little bit of a dated style that was donated to me last year. And then the Layla Azar, like it was like a gray silver color cap sleeve dress that came in a thread up mystery box as well. So those were the seven items. I sold that whole bundle for $29, which I was totally fine with because these were either personal items, donated items. So neither of those have a cost associated with them for me other than, you know, my time. And then the other items were items from thread up mystery boxes that sat for quite a while. So I was happy to get rid of them all at the same time. On the 19th, I had another box Bundle. This was a six piece bundle. That was the only thing that sold on the 19th was the six piece bundles. Uh, so let's look at the six piece bundle. The first was the Mac Studio striped button front that was donated to me. The Zara green and black polka dot like handkerchief halter style top. I picked that up at Goodwill last year. That's like one of the, or if, if not the last thing that I sourced before everything happened last year and I stopped thrifting. Next we have this collective concept Stitch Fix top. That was in a Thread Up Mystery box as well. This Urban Outfitters Silence and Noise purple wrap top. That was in my most recent Thread Up video that I posted. Sold that. The Leith tieback jacquard swing top. That was from a Thread Up Mystery box as well. And then the Soprano kind of mixed media faux leather tank top. Also thread up mystery box. I didn't have a ton of money into these items, but they all have been sitting for quite a while. So I was happy to let this bundle go at $30. So I earned 24. And again, most of this is my time sitting in it. I already took the photos. Um, I was happy <laughs> to let them go at a low price. On the 20th, I had one sale and it was this pair of Nike dry fit like soccer shorts. And these were from my personal closet. These I think got up to like 50 likes, which is crazy. And I can't believe nobody bought them 
for you know that long they were listed for quite a while and let's see here how long did it take them to sell i i only sold them for 15 dollars, and they took 95 days to sell so so three months i guess that's not too bad i haven't had an item get that many likes in a long time on the 21st i had two sales the first was this pair of american eagle light wash shorts and these were from my personal closet i sold them for eight dollars and those took 96 days to sell uh the buttons on the back pockets fell off um <laughs> So I made sure to note that in the listing. And these were like low rise shorts from, oh gosh, at least 10 years ago. So uh, I'm glad somebody got them for $8. The other sale on the 21st were these Moose, Moose, Muse, and Cloud, Liza, or Liza, there's too many words I can't pronounce. Chunky heeled sandals. These I purchased at Goodwill. I Googled the brand. They seem to have decent comps. Sometimes this brand is sold at Anthropology. Again, the comps looked good. I sold these for $48 and those took six days to sell. Also the chunky Y2K is coming back right now. And also like the wooden clog situation. So these sandals had a lot going for them. On the 22nd, I sold four items. Two of those were in a bundle. Let's start with the bundle here. It was two soft surroundings items. So the first was this Valentina zip sweater and the other item was this pair of khaki capri pants both of those items were donated to me last year bundle sold for $17 so I was happy with that both of those had been sitting for quite a while so the next item was this gap optic white scallop hem eyelet three-quarter sleeve top this came in a thread up mystery box and I sold that for $10 that took 253 days to sell the last item to sell on the 22nd was this anthropology Bordeaux elementary mint green aqua tea this was donated to me last year. It just wasn't in the greatest condition. I don't know, I listed it anyway. And I sold it for $5 and that took 414 days to sell. On the 23rd, I had one sale and it was this Octavia Heathered Gray Drape Open Front Cardigan. This was from my personal closet. And this, this is the first item this month that was an old Latote item for me. It's this like clothing rental thing. It's basically like Stitch Fix, except you can actually like wear the items and send them back. I actually have a video on that. I'll link it above. Unboxing one of my recent totes. This is something I've had for a while. I sold that for $15 and that took 159 days to sell. The last item that day was this 21 men black full zip bomber jacket and 21 men is just forever 21's men's line so I just list it as forever 21 not 21 men but this was a cool jacket this came in a men's thread up mystery box it was a cool jacket but again it's like forever 21 so it's cheap to begin with I sold that for nine dollars and that took 200 days to sell on the 29th I had one sale and it was this sunrise kingdom floral peached poplin button down shirt. This was new with tags. This came in my most recent men's Fred up mystery box. And this was a fun shirt. I sold that for $20 and that took 45 days to sell. On the 30th, I had two sales. First was this RN Studio eggplant lace overlay sleeveless dress. Uh, that was from my personal closet. Uh, I used to buy, <laughs> anytime I had like an event or like a wedding to go to, I would buy a bunch of dresses because I'd be like, well, I don't know which one I wanna wear and then I wouldn't wear them, and then I also wouldn't return the ones I didn't wear. <laughs> so this was a victim of one of those situations. I got a tour to a wedding and I never did, but then I also never <laughs> returned it. I think I got it at Macy's or JCPenney, something like that. But anyway, I only sold it for $6 and that took 163 days to sell. So I hope whoever got that is gonna wear it to a wedding because that dress never got to go to a wedding in the first place. Let's see here, the other item on the 30th was this pair of Tom's stucco satin woven black platform wedges. These came in a thread up mystery box. I sold them for $17 and those took 231 days to sell. Honestly, I thought those would do better, maybe because they were a size 10. They were in excellent condition. I don't see any other reason why they wouldn't have sold faster. I, I have seen like those exact sandals in more of like a denim fabric material at Goodwill and it pains me because they're so cute and I wanna pick them up to resell, but based on this pair not doing well, I refrained. But this is why we do these things so we can say, hey, these didn't sell as well as I thought they would. So when I see them at the thrift store, I don't pick them up <laughs> because they also probably won't do well. On the 31st, the last day of the month, I had two sales. The first was this, white puff sleeve top. The brand was A Picture's Worth and this was donated to me last year. It was a really cool top. I put art to wear in the description. 
Uh, somebody told me to do that in one of my YouTube videos a while ago with another top that was kind of like this. Uh, apparently sometimes this brand can be sold at Anthropology, but I looked up the RN on this one and it was just, um, it was like TJ Maxx, I think. Not that great, but it was a really pretty top. Uh, anyway, I sold it for $15 and it took 157 days to sell. And the very last item of the month was this like vintage casual corner annex, 100% silk floral top. And it was like a button front tank top, blush pink. I sold that for $5 and it took 169 days to sell. That was donated to me last year. I made a $2.05 off of it. So. Was it worth my time? Probably not. Did I do it anyway? Yes. So those are all the items that I sold in this month. Let's move into fast, low, high, low, and then we'll jump into all my other fun numbers. For this month, I'm going to share with you the items that sold in two weeks or less, and we'll start at two weeks and work our way down to the fastest sale of the month. I don't know if you were like keeping notes while I was going through, so you might already know which were the fastest. We have a tie, by the way. 14 days, three items sold in 14 days. That Under Armour pullover, the Zara Man striped sweater, and those Vince Camuto sandals. Um, anything that sells in two weeks or less for me is like, great, I will take it. 13 days, we had two items, those Dr. Scholl's flats that I got at Goodwill and the Zara kind of check boho blouse. Uh, those both sold in 13 days. The Madewell booties that we talked about, those sold in nine days. The Dansko sandals, like the clog sandals, uh, those sold in seven days, so those took a week to sell. The J. Crew embroider top that looked a lot like the Zara top, that sold in six days. And the, we're gonna call it Musing Cloud, uh, which is probably wrong, please correct me. The Musing Cloud clog sandals, those also took six days to sell. And then we have a tie for the fastest sale of the month. Both of these sold in two days. First up, we have the Born Booties, which I think were the first sale of the month, but those sold in two days. And then the North Face Puffer Jacket. Two days for that guy. That was awesome. Now let's go into the slowest sales. Um, I'm gonna share with you everything that took over 200 days to sell, just, you know, so you can be like, maybe I should stay away from these things. The Layla Azar dress, that took 201 days to sell. The new black tank top, 207 days to sell. And we're going from like kind of slow to like really, really slow. Uh, the Vince Camuto paid in heels, these were kind of the dated ones. Those took 212 days to sell. The J. Crew green v-neck sweater 223 days the express white jeans took 224 days to sell uh that's surprising to me but it tells me not to pick up white denim for now anyway Ta the tom's crochet wedges we talked about those those took 231 days to sell the gap white eyelet top that was 253 days that just in time vintage vest uh that took 305 days to sell the lori felt top that was 329 the max studio striped tank top was 411 days. Max Studio makes a lot of cute things and I'm pretty sure they retail for a good amount, but the resale is just not there. People aren't looking for it. The Anthro Mint Basic Tee, that took 414 days. The Soft Surroundings Valentina Sweater, that was 415 days. The H&M Divided Blue Sweater with the lace at the bottom, that was 418 days. And then we're on the last two here, the Zara Green Polka Dot Shirt that I picked up at Goodwill last year to sell, uh, that took 518 eight days would not recommend so like recent trendy Zara great like old not that cute Zara not great and then the slowest item of the month was the lush crossback top again another bad first pickup at Goodwill that took 512 days to sell don't don't do that <laughs> Uh, let's move into my highest sales of the month. So I'm gonna tell you everything that sold over $25, starting at 25 and then going up to my highest sale of the month. The For $25, I sold that J. Crew embroidered top, so that was fastest and highest sales. The Vince Camuto sandals, another fast and high for $30. The Dansko Tasha sandals, you're, you're sensing like a pattern here that a lot of my fastest sales are also in my highest and that's the combo we're looking for. Those Dansko sandals sold for $40. The Born Booties were like tied for the fastest. Those sold for $40 also. The Madewell Booties, $42. The Musen Cloud Sandals, $48. The Sperry Rain Boots, $49. And 
the North Face puffer jacket for $190. So obviously that's like way, way, way by far the best item of the month, but um, it deserves it. That was a good piece. Now I'm gonna share with you everything that kind of sold for $5 or less, uh, just, just so you know. Uh, the Casper black floral embroidered skirt that was donated, the Just In Time vest, that was a lowest and slowest, not great. The Max Studio Stripe Tank, $5 also. The Zara Green Polka Dot Top, $5. The Collective Concept shirt, I got rid of that for $5. The Silence and Noise, that's the Urban Outfitters purple wrap top. I really thought that would do better, but uh, this tells me that it, it was not gonna do better. Uh, the Leaf tie back top, the Soprano faux leather tank top, also $5. That Anthropology mint t-shirt, that was $5. And then the last $5 item is that casual corner vintage sleeveless top. Basically everything in that like, <laughs> seven piece bundle sold for four dollars and 14 cents so i'll just put that up on the screen here the forever 21 dress h&m sweater lori felt top the new black tank top the h&m stripe top the j crew factory sweater and the layla azar dress so all of those basically came out to four dollars and 14 cents for a sale price and then i had one item sell for four dollars which was this talbot's pink linen pencil skirt i i, I would not pick that up but it was donated so I sold it now let's get into some of my other fun numbers for the month so in the month of July I listed 35 items which is more than one per day which is exciting <laughs> um, and I sold 51 items uh, this is kind of the same thing that happened in June where I sold more than I listed which means my active listing number is still dropping I'm trying to get that up which really just means I have to list more so that's what I'm trying to do this month uh, I'll let you know in next month's video how that's working out for me. You can see here that I had 13 no sales days, which is basically half the month. You know, a lot of those days I had some bundle sales. I did not list consistently through the month. That's kind of those pink dots there. I still listed things. So maybe if I spread out my listings a bit more evenly through the month, instead of just like picking days to list a bunch of items, that could help. I don't know. I'm, I'm still pretty surprised. I had my best sales month of the year when I only half the days of the month, I didn't sell anything. <laughs> So that's pretty surprising to me. There were a few days at the end of the month there. You can see I didn't get any likes on my items at all. I did put my closet on vacation mode. For those couple days, my husband and I went to the beach for our anniversary. Closet was off. Nobody liked anything. That makes sense. You can see here, uh, this is count of sale type. So how I made my sales, whether, you know, somebody sent me an offer, I sent them an offer, a closet clear out, full price sales, things like that. Um, or any bundles. And you can see that about 45% of my sales were initiated by the buyer. So that would be offers to me, full price sales, or bundle offers to me. And then that is about 55 percent of sales were initiated by me. So closet clear out, private offer sent, bundle offer sent, or offers to likers. So it's about half and half um, of, of who initiated the sale, which I, I find this to be interesting. Let me know if you do too. It encourages me to continue to initiate sales myself because otherwise I may have not made half of these sales. Offers to likers is the biggest one, so I'm definitely gonna keep sending my offers to likers. Tops and shoes were my best categories by volume. As you can see here, tops and shoes are usually my two best sellers for the month. Um, but this month I decided to add a profit by category chart here. And so, you know, tops and shoes were my highest like number of sales, but you can see on this chart that jackets and shoes were my highest profit categories um, and jackets is 100% from that, um, from the North Face puffer jacket. So even though it was only like 8% of my total volume, it made up for a large chunk of my actual profits, which is kind of what matters, right? So, um, and then right behind that was shoes. So even though I sold a less number of shoes or a less amount of shoes, I had a bigger profit than tops, even though tops was like 40% of my sales volume wise. So that's something I'm going to be looking at a little bit more, even though tops is typically my best category. I kind of want to see what my highest profit categories are 
you know, moving forward. Also pretty funny that jackets was like my highest profit category in July. I've also started keeping track of the average number of days it takes me to sell an item. We were kind of going up and up and up throughout the year and that's mostly because I wasn't really thrifting new items. Everything that was just in my closet as it was selling, obviously it was sitting in my closet for longer, which is probably why, why those numbers were going up. In July, I brought it down a little bit from June. So the number of days to sell this month was 160. And I'm hoping to get that down even farther. Um, and hopefully in the coming months with me thrifting desirable items and good quality items, I'll be moving them quicker and that number will drop more because the goal is to move things, not to just store them in my closet and in my house. <laughs> Let's take a look at the map. Florida and Maine got most of my items this month. I'm pretty sure that Maine got a lot of items because of the bundle sale, but they got a few other items also. So that's kind of surprising. Usually it's like California. Florida's not that surprising, but they tied for the most items received this month. Now let's get into my sales and profit. As you can see here, I've had my highest sales of the year so far, not ever. Last May was like baller. This July was pretty baller for me. So usually I'm around that like 750 range, but my sales this month were $885. I'm dying to get over that $1,000 mark. It's not looking good this month, but we'll see. But $885 in July, I think that's awesome. That gave me $500 in profit. And as a part-time reseller, I will take that. That is great. It's one of my highest profits of the year, definitely highest sales of the year. And so I'm looking to uh, get that number up as well. Let me know if you guys like this kind of video. If you do, hit the thumbs up and subscribe down below and hit the little bell so you don't miss any future uploads. And I will see you in the next one. Bye. I really like the style of it. Nobody cares. Hi. That's a good idea. It's a, uh, it's long. It rained a lot. <laughs> Rain makes things grow. Go figure. Bye bye. It got, it got dark in here. Can you turn that hall light on? Great, that didn't help. I gotta finish, bye.